Welcome to Dominic Talks Percussion. We are going to work on an extra exercise for time for four. Let's start. In this special exercise, we're going to learn some new techniques. We will learn chords, chord progressions, and transposing so many things to do I want you to start you can use four mallets or two and just play the scale of C minor you can play it over the whole instrument in any way you like Then you can start to improvise a little bit in this in this scale. Something like that. So you can stop the video, improvise a little bit more until you feel comfortable in this scale. Any way you play it, it doesn't matter. Just listen and just every day improvise a little bit in the scale of C minor. Then the next exercise is going to be uh, the chords. So we play C minor. Then also, in any way, you can choose how you play the chord. Then the next one is F minor. The third one is G minor. And the fourth one is G major. So we have one. Just loop this a little bit so we uh, one. Record yourself with your iPhone, you just play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Like this. I will add a uh, audio file in the attachment so you can just click that as an accompaniment for your improvisation and as you've heard I did C minor and accidentally went to G minor and I go just I just go to F and I go back improvisation just improvise 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 and have fun and in this scale you can do um, so C minor So in the G major is that we add the B and no B flat because the B goes to C. So if you would improvise, you can go in the scale and then you add an F. Then you play a G minor chord. So 
why is it important that you train this improvisation? I want you to learn how the chords work, that you start to hear where the line is going and you can find your way over the keyboard. So you can make up your own exercises. The exercise I made is just It's just chords, but you can also do, oh, I'm gonna play all the notes. C minor, and then I go to F minor. Right? So have fun behind your instrument and make up your own exercises. Okay, so we learned, we, we worked a bit on improvisation in the scale of C minor. Then we worked on improvisation in the chords, one, four, five minor, five major. You can practice that with the audio file. And once you're done with that, we can look at the exercise. So we see it's forte, we see slur per bar, and we see on the end of the bar, we see accents. And then we see a kind of rotation movement. So we have, I want you to actually make sure you stand right. So what I do always, I, I jump, and then I make sure I really stand on my feet and I move a bit forward and I move a bit back. So I find where my balance is and then I make sure I stand up straight. So not like this, not like this, and definitely not like this. Also not looking to your bars. You can just stand normal and just, you, you turn your head a little bit and then you can see the bars. That's enough. Like a distance, as if you are a bird. Bird view. So then we have C minor. So we see that the arm here is bent. We keep the mallets low. We don't need to move like this because vertical movement is from the wrist and from the fingers and the horizontal movement is from the arms and the shoulders. Why? Because this chooses the notes and this does the phrasing. So we separate it. So I don't want you to move like this with your arms unless the music really asks for it, but that's only a few times. So that's nice. C minor. And then we can uh, once play all the chords. So we do C. This is already a good exercise. And I don't want to see this. Stop, move. Stop, move, stop, move. I want to see downstroke, and when you play, you have an upstroke, and in the upstroke, you move to the next one. So you can do a slow motion exercise like this slow, puff. Actually, I do it wrong. Eh? You have to do downstroke, up. Next one, downstroke, up. And I'm, I'm already. Prepare to play the next chord and down stroke up, down stroke up, down stroke up, down stroke up. So the upstroke is not only an upstroke, it's also preparation for the next chord and from the wrist. So the hands stay kind of low. So if this is difficult for you, practice it very slow or go to the time for four book number one and do a lot of exercises before you hit this exercise. It's quite a difficult exercise. And you can see from the feet, you don't need to move. You, you stand in one position, but I, it's a bit like you move like this. So your knees can your feet are moving like, like you're skiing. And I'm on the right and I go to the left. So I shift my weight. So no need to walk. A lot of, lot of techniques in this exercise. Then we have the snake technique. So to move like a snake, like how we learned in the book. So out, in, tap, tap. And you see that my arms and my shoulders are choosing the notes and then the phrasing comes from the wrist and the fingers. Then we add the rotation. 
So we can do three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, move. This is a good exercise also. You can go through uh, all the chords, so you can do F minor. Yeah, so on G minor, G major. All right, so that's exercise number four of this exercise. Man, we have a lot of things to do here. So we did improvisation in C minor improvisation in the chord cycle. Then we did quarter notes to choose the right chords. So we practice the movement to prepare the, this movement. Then we add a rotation movement to this. So that's exercise number four. And now we can look at the real exercise. So we have Right. And then T major. And our melodies need to do this all the time, so it's very, very difficult exercise actually. This one, I need to practice. And then back. So we also have this big jump. Jump. And we have to be ready, so if you go too far, we cannot go too far. a big jump to C minor so go very slow and this can be from the wrist you don't need to move with the arms just just add more speed Stay low so you can become really fast. Speed means less high movements because less distance means you can move faster. Another lesson learned. Then, last thing we need to check is how to modulate. So we have C minor, F minor, G minor, G major, C minor, back to one, back to four, back to five minor, and then we go to six major. So not C minor, but or not A minor, but A major. So C minor, F minor, G minor, A, ma a major, this goes to D minor. We go to the four, then we go to a five, so that's A minor and D minor, and then back to D. Four, five, minor, five major, and if we want to go on, we go D minor, Five minor, six major, and E minor. Get it? So, C minor, we are in, in C minor now. C minor, F minor, G minor. C minor, so many names, F minor, G minor,
minor. Then we go to the sixth, which is A major. To D minor. And a D minor is the new one. So we arrive in the tonality of D minor. and to find the chord progressions and basically know the basic chord progressions and be able to find your way on the instrument. Always listen to your sound. Make sure you don't move too high because then you cannot move fast and also it will lead to accents in the phrase which we don't want, which we talk about in different exercises. Um, I hope you enjoyed this exercise. I'm also going to practice this because this is pretty hard. Like if you could do this very fast, it's quite cool actually. And then go through all the tonalities until you end back in C minor. So that's a, that's a good, that's a really nice, um, nice exercise. You can work on that for a couple of weeks. Sometimes you can also say, no, I'm not going to start in C minor. I'm just going to start in A minor or G flat minor. It doesn't matter always start in the same steps so you first play the scale of that key then you improvise in that scale then you figure out the chords you play the chords of one four five minor five major you make a loop of that record yourself so you can play with yourself then you improvise in that chord progression and then you start to do the exercise and that same counts for repertoire. If you have to do specific repertoire in a key or in a tonality, practice the scale, practice the chord progressions in that tonality, and you will see that your ears start to listen differently to the piece, but you also start to just find your way over the instrument. We have to be able to improvise and just find our way over this beautiful instrument. If you have questions, you can post them down here below. And if not, I wish you a good practicing session and I'll see you in the other exercises of time for.